Good evening, Fitch. Good evening, Janet. How are you? ¿Cómo está? I'm fine, thank you. And awesome. You? I'm, I'm good as well. I'm happy to see you again. I'm happy. Así veo. Usted siempre <laughs> risueña. <laughs> Ay, gracias. Siempre intento traerles la energía porque sé que esta hora es un poquito difícil, sobre todo para ustedes que trabajan, right? Así que igual, aunque no trabajen siempre en el oficio de la casa. Sí. Good evening, sí. teacher. Good evening, Marilyn. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Fine. You, teacher. How is going? Ah, uh, everything's going good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> You're yeah. welcome, teacher. Thank you. What about Karen? I see two Karen. Karen's today. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm fine. <laughs> good. I'm happy con, to hear that. Con un poquito de sueño. <laughs> ah, ya me imagino. Sí. <laughs> ya me imagino. Pero ya casi terminamos. Ya ven que, que ni se siente el tiempo. Bueno, por lo menos yo no lo siento. <laughs> no sé ustedes, right? So, ya va a pasar, ya va a pasar. Uh, thank you for joining guys today. Um, as you remember, today is the last day from this course, right? Hoy es el último día de este curso. Um, so we will go over, as I promised yesterday, we will go over the, um, the final exam, but we can, if you want to, um, we can go over all the other tasks if you have any questions with them, right? Podemos revisar, yo sé que la mayoría ha terminado ya al 100%, pero de igual manera, si tienen alguna consulta, este sería eh, el momento ideal, ¿ok? Para poder este, resolver cualquier duda que tengan. Antes de revisar si quieren el examen, no sé si tienen alguna consulta con algún otro contenido, alguna otra sección. Uh. Yes, teacher. Um, yo eh, después de la clase tengo una duda con una con una sección, pero quizás lo puedo hacer. Le puedo mandar no. una foto. Sí, o lo vemos ahorita si usted gusta. Por mí no hay problema. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Qué sección es la, sería? Es la um, 4.6. Vamos a ver entonces. Oops. 4.6. Pueden ver la pantalla. Ahorita está en blanco porque está cargando, pero no sé si pueden verlo. Quiero ver. Aquí está. Chivo, entonces. Thank you. So, uh -huh. bueno, vamos a ver. Dice Knowledge Check. Uh, complete questions 1 to 5. We comparatives in questions 6 to 10. What's superlatives? Use the adjectives given to you in brackets. Ah, vaya. De la 1 a la 5, o sea, de aquí para acá. Tenemos que utilizar los comparativos. Si se recuerda, los comparativos son los que terminaban en ER, right? Por ejemplo, si small, como es adjetivo, solo lo vamos smaller. a agregar. Exactly. Smaller. smaller. Uh -huh. Si es uh, high, sería. Queda. Ajá, solo le agregamos la ER, right? Crowd. More crowded. More crowded or crowder? More. Crowded. Perfect. More crowd. Let's go with the next one. It says large. Sería large. large. Exactly. Large. En este caso, como termina en E, solo se le agrega la R. Right? Todos los adjetivos que terminen en E y son comparativos, solo le vamos a agregar la R. Y la última. Famous. ¿Cómo more, sería? More famous. Perfect. No famous, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Uy, miren, por molestarle, yo le iba a escribir igual. Y de las 6 a las 10 sería um, superlativos. El superlativo termina en EST. Si son verbo, si son, perdón, adjetivos de una o dos sílabas. Y si son de más de dos sílabas, como por ejemplo expensive, se le agrega the most. The most expensive. Vamos a ver si están correctas. Uh -huh. Yes. Y vamos a ir despacito para que Enrique pueda verlos. Si se fija, Enrique, el primero sería Which country is a smaller? Monaco or Vatican City? Hi, Edwin. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, then let's go with number two. Which waterfall is higher? 
Niagara Falls or Angel Falls. Then we go with number three, that it says, which city is more crowded, Hong Kong or Cairo? Then let's go with number four. Me dicen si voy muy rápido, si no, le puedo frenar un poquito, right? With number four, which lake is larger, the Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Day number five, que ahí terminan los adjetivos comparativos, sería which place is more famous, Taj Mahal or Taj Mahal, no, Taj Mahal or the Great Wall of China, right? Como es comparativo, se pone more. Si fuera superlativo, es most, right? Most famous. Me dice cuando le puedo dar para abajo. ¿Le doy para abajo? Sí, sí está bien. Ok, vamos con las últimas cinco entonces. Uh, number six, it says, which is the highest Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest or Mount Fuji. And then let's go with number seven. That is, what is the longest river in the world, the Nile or the Amazon? Which city is the most expensive? Tokyo, Moscow or Hong Kong? Then number nine, it says, what is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic? And the last one, it says, which is the driest? desert in the world, Atacama Desert or Sahara Desert. In this case, what is asking you is only de la 1 a la 5, solo la pregunta adjetivos eh, comparativos mm -hmm. y de las 6 a la 10, superlativos. Que la diferencia, okay. digamos, una de la otra es que, oops, bueno, okay. comparatives, usamos ER al final. E -R. A, R, or more. Son los comparativos. Y los superlativos. S, T. Exactly, thank you. S, T. O a veces solo S, T por si termina en E. O uh -huh. most. Uh -huh. Esa sería la diferencia. So de la. Comparativos de la 1 a la 5. Superlativos de la 6 a la 10. Okay. okay. Okay, teacher, the problem uh, for me is in the um, in, in uh, number eight. In Esther. I, I, yes, I put them the um, more expensive. Oh, I, I, I write uh, the most expensive. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, in that case, that's that's why. Because mm -hmm. more, si ponemos aquí more, mm -hmm. it's if we say it's comparative. El more uh -huh. lo utilizamos para comparativo. Yes. Eh, si lo pongo así, me va a salir mal. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ahí está. Partially correct, dice todavía. So, porque nos pide superlativo, si ponemos the most. Right? Uh -huh. The most expensive. Uh -huh. Y ya tendría que quedarle, ¿no? Digamos que no okay. tendría que haber. Ajá. Teacher. Dígame. Eh, como son tres los que compara, ¿verdad? Por eso que se usa el most. Oh, en este caso sabemos que es most porque las instrucciones nos dicen que de las 6 a la 10 son superlativos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No okay. porque digamos que la lógica es como usted, como usted lo dice. Which, is, which city is more expensive porque estamos comparando tres, right? Pero, ajá, digamos que la no podemos poner, de, sería lo correcto. ¿Ok? Pero como la instrucción nos dice que de, la, de tal a tal es superlativo, por eso lo ponemos the most. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta con otra, este, con otra sección antes de, antes de pasar al, al examen? El examen es ahora que se tiene que hacer. Sí, hoy sería. Ahorita lo vamos a revisar. Now. Now, yes. <laughs> y ahí les queda la copia, lo voy a decir. No, okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, antes de pasar al examen, ¿alguna otra sección que les gustaría revisar? O lo que pueden hacer de que 
mientras estemos revisando el examen, pueden revisar qué secciones tienen dudas o qué secciones les hace falta de completar. Por el momento no hay otra. Eh, yes, teacher. Uh, de okay. la sección 5.4. Ok, vamos a ver entonces. Five. Aquí está. Ok. Ahí está. Continuo. That's right. It says complete the invitations with the present continuous used as future. Use the pronoun and the verb in brackets. Right? Brackets. It's if, if, es como que digamos paréntesis en inglés. All right? Pero brackets no es paréntesis, sino que es el corchete. All right? So, o un error de dedo ahí, no se preocupen. So, let's go with, esta es la parte 1 de la 1 a la 4. Uh, in the parentheses it says you and do. And because it's present continuous as future, use, I'm sorry, as future, is what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Are you doing, right? Are you doing Anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Thing number three, we are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Will you and your parents like to come? And the, the last one, it says, are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike, right? In this case, because it's present continuous, we need to remember that you will always use the verb to be plus the subject, right? Si hay pregunta, right? En ese, en ese orden iría. Plus verb, verb. in ing. G-N-G. Correct. Así es como iría, right? Y ahí cumple todo. To be, to be. Subject, subject. ing, ing. The same here, same here, same here. Aquí el we está aquí porque no es pregunta, sino que es oración. Ahí en este caso sería subject oops, plus to be plus verb ing. Right? Y ahí cumplimos también. Solo quiero ver. 4.13. Oh, don't worry, Ivan. Solo terminamos esta y nos vamos con la 4.3. Si se fijan, subject, subject, verb to be, lo tenemos aquí. ING, lo tenemos aquí. Igual aquí, are you staying, is staying. Lo tenemos aquí, 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 aquí. All right. cool. Esa sería con la parte 1. Vamos con la segunda parte. Uy. Ok. Part 2, it says... Complete the responses with be going to and use the verbs in brackets. Cuando dice be going to, no es que vamos a poner I be going to be here on Saturday, right? Sino que el be es el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, si es I, el verbo to be de I es am. Si es she, he, or it, el verbo to be es is. Si es you, we, and they, el verbo to be es are, right? So, si tenemos I, sería I am going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday, right? Y como el going to lo que hace es de que el verbo lo, lo mantiene en su misma forma. ¿Se recuerdan? En su forma base. Eh, diga, si lo quieren poner de otra manera, en presente simple, right? So, por eso es que se mencioné going to visit, going to work, going to stay. Lo único que tenemos que poner atención es quién es el sujeto. Por ejemplo, aquí, si cambiamos my father to a pronoun, which one do you think is going to be? Si cambiamos de mi padre a un pronombre, ¿qué pronombre le utilizamos para hablar de, de un hombre? Exactly, he, right? Entonces, el verbo to be sería is. Igual acá, I am, I 
I'm um, going to stay, right? Y así quedarían todos. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta ahorita? Así es, easy. <laughs> Así sí. <sigue. laughs> Don't worry. Ok, por eso yo les decía, pregúntenme y lo explicamos aquí, ¿verdad? Porque a veces, este, no es que no se entienda, sino de que lo tenemos que ver desde otra perspectiva para entenderlo, ¿right? Yes. Porque eso ya I, lo sabía. I think, uh, yes, mm -hmm. I think uh, this idea, uh, uh, would you, uh, que usted dice, teacher, es a veces este, hay que verlo así como, como usted lo acaba de explicar, porque uno lo sí. intenta de una, dos, tres formas y, y no siempre sale mal. Sí, sí, pero eso es, eso es lo bueno de que tenemos las, uh -huh. las sesiones grupales por las noches para aclarar uh -huh. cualquier consulta. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Y sí, guys, en, futu en un futuro, ya sea conmigo o no sea conmigo, le pueden pedir a sus profesores que les expliquen, right? Nosotros estamos acá para eso. No okay. es exclusivamente enseñarles algo nuevo, sino que también explicarles lo que está en la plataforma, right? Así que pueden, no tengan miedo de exigirle a sus profesores, mire, yo no entendí tal sección, right? Me la puede explicar con gusto, ¿verdad? Vamos y le explicamos la sección, ¿ok? No tengan pena, all right? Um, ¿Alguna otra, Enrique, antes de pasar a la 4.4? No, te quiero, thank you. Ok. Sara, usted dijo, ¿cuál dijo? Bueno, si no, para mientras, pasamos a la 4.13 que dijo Iván. Sí. Y 4.13, sí, ahorita vamos sí. a ver. La 4. 4, ok, let's go with 4 then. So, 4. How is hot Washington? Wait. Sorry. Don't worry. Vamos a ir con esta porque Iván, Iván me la pidió primero, right? Okay. Y luego vamos con la suya, Larissa. All right? Thank you. You're welcome. So let's go with this one. It says knowledge check. Write the questions to these answers. Remember to use how. Aquí ya están contestadas. Pero lo que tiene que hacer aquí, la voy a poner aquí aparte, is that you need to make questions. Tenemos que hacer preguntas con how. All right? En este caso, ¿Cómo vamos a saber cómo, cómo hacer las preguntas? Vamos a ver la respuesta. Por ejemplo, la respuesta dice, Angels Falls is 979 meters, so 3,212 feet high. high. Si nos está dando la altura, es porque nos está preguntando qué tan alto es Angels Falls, right? ¿Sí o no? Yes. Ajá. So the question will be, How high is Angels Falls? Y luego tenemos la respuesta. Angels Falls is blah, 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 blah. Right? Then we have number two. Vamos a ver la respuesta. It says California is about 403,970 square kilometers. No voy a leer las square miles porque no utilizamos las mismas acá. But nos está preguntando qué tan grande es California. Right? Porque nos está dando el dato de qué tan grande, cuáles son las dimensiones, right? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer esa pregunta? How big, how big is California, right? Luego vamos a ver la respuesta de la número 3. La número 3 dice, the Nile is 6,670 kilometers long. So it's asking, it's asking us how long is the Nile, right? ¿Qué tan, um, qué tan largo? Es el río Nilo, right? And then, this one is tricky, by the way. Esta última es un poquito eh, complicada porque la tienen que poner exactamente como yo la he puesto aquí. Mm -hmm. Because the answer says, Washington, coma, D.C., coma, gets up to about 32 degrees Celsius in the summer, right? So it's asking us how hot it is. ¿Qué tan caliente es Washington, D.C.? Si se fijan, es prácticamente como nuestro, nuestra temperatura, 25, 30 grados, right? So, how hot is Washington, comma, D, period, C, period, and both letters are capital letters, then coma, in the summer, question mark. Tiene que ir exactamente así, con cada punto, con cada coma, con todas las mayúsculas, así como las he puesto ahí. 
All right. How hot is Washington? Washington with capital letter. Washington con mayúsculo la primera letra, coma, DC, las dos mayúsculas, punto, separado porque son este, um, uh, acrónimos, right? The District Columbia, eso significa DC. DC significa District. Right? In the summer. Solo que si ponemos District Columbia no nos va a agarrar. All right, tenemos que poner exactamente así. Teacher. Dígame. Fíjese de que así lo tengo yo y no, y o sea, lo, acabar justo como usted lo ha puesto, con las mayúsculas y todo, y con las tildes y todo, y no me da. Bueno, qué raro. Lo tal voy a copiar. La, tal vez ¿Sí? la primer mayúscula, ajá. Ajá. Si no, lo que voy a hacer es copiarlo exactamente como yo lo tengo, lo voy a mandar al WhatsApp y me avisa si no le agarra, porque ahí sí tendríamos que reportarlo. Es porque el signo así, de interrogación. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y también le puse el, no, si todo está igualito que usted lo puede hasta teacher. Ha de ser algún espacio. Algo, una coma, o un, un espacio, espacio extra, extra coma, exacto. Sí. Un espacio bueno, extra. Bueno, lo voy a volver a hacer. Justo cuando usted me lo mande, lo voy a volver a hacer porque ese es el único que me hace falta. Ay, vaya, pero me quedo, me está cargando WhatsApp ahorita. <risa> entre, entre el punto y la coma, in, ahí hay un espacio que no se debe de hacer. So, let's try now. Pero ni que no me carga. Bueno, lo voy a escribir entonces porque de aquí que me cargue. Sería How hot is Washington? Washington, coma, DC, coma, in the summer. Yep. Oops, make it okay, keep it in. Okay, ya se lo mandé. How hot is Washington, DC, in the summer? Eh, Prueba así. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Lo ya saben. Lo, lo voy a ver y, y le digo, pero no sé por qué no me quiere dar. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but let's try. Let's try and I know that he will um he will let you it, it will accept the answer. Okay. Le va a aceptar, le va a aceptar la respuesta. Okay, vamos a ver. Okay. Ah, ya le puse tal cual y ya me lo aceptó. Perfecto, Sara. All right. So, Iván Permítame un ratito porque Sara me dijo también de la 4.3. ¿Qué otra es Sara de la 4.3? ¿O era esta misma? Uh, no, no, Miss. Es, era esa. Thank you. Esta era. Ah, bye. Chivo. El 4.3. Sorry. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Don't worry. Ah, pues vamos con la sección 2.6, as Ivan said. Oh, 2.6. Yes. Uh -huh. Section 2.6. Let's go. Just give me a moment. Okay, two, here it is. All right, so it says, knowledge check. Read the following questions. Write the best advice for each health problem. Remember to use infinity complements. You don't need to rewrite what it is in the brackets. Okay, so in this case, it's just the verb, the infinity verb. Como uh -huh. es el infinitivo yeah. es two plus the verb. Uh -huh. Es two más el verbo. Por ejemplo, ¿Qué hacemos con las vitaminas? We take them, right? Las tomamos. To take, it's important to take some vitamin C. No es necesario que escriban lo que está en paréntesis. Claro, si ustedes lo quieren escribir, se lo va a aceptar la plataforma. Pero no es obligación que lo hagan. Si se fijan, miren, se lo agarra. Pero, uh -huh. o sea, para que lo van a escribir, si solo pueden escribir to plus el verbo, right? So, to take. Ahora, ¿qué hacemos con los líquidos? Los tomamos también. Pero, ¿cuál es el verbo para tomar en inglés? Es drink, right? To drink. La otra. Uh, what should I do for a burn? Por una quemadura, put. To, it's sometimes helpful to put some ointment on it. Then number four is to see a dentist, right? In case that I have a, um, um, a toothache, 
right? I need to go to see a dentist. Then the last one is to take again. What should I do for a cough? It's a good idea to take some medicine. Y así les tendría que quedar. Tomar medicina, right? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Thanks, you're welcome, Ivan. ¿Alguna otra sección antes de que pasemos al examen? Yes, to uh, 11, please. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Let's go with them. All right, it says complete these conversations with the model verbs can, could, may, uh, have, try, suggest, or should. Okay. The last one, some of this herbal tea. Okay. So, which one do you think it is, guys? La última. Solo la última necesita ayuda, Larissa. Yes. Tenemos que ocupar can't, could, may have, try, suggest, or should. Some of this herbal tea is very relaxing. Try. Try? Try. Pero creo que con mayúscula, right? Vamos yes. A ver. Ahí está. Perfect. So try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Thank you. You're welcome. That's correct. This is yes. a suggestion. Es una sugerencia. Que le dice que es bueno para el insomnio. Uh, un té de hierbas, right? It's very relaxing. Bueno, para el insomnio, lo que yo hago y me ha funcionado. <laughs> yo se va a escuchar bien chistoso, pero escucho cuentos para dormir, fíjense. Y me ayuda un montón. <laughs> yes. Relaxing. It's relaxing. Yes. Okay. Bueno, eh, antes de continuar con el examen, ¿alguna otra pregunta con otra sección? No? Okay. Vamos con el examen, entonces. So the first one, it says, listen to the conversation. Oh, 3.4. Iván, Iván, Iván está preguntando la 3.4, Teach. Y les estoy diciendo. No, mentira. Vamos a verlo ahorita. Antes del examen. Sí, porque el examen okay. lo vamos a hacer de un solo. Sí. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, Ben. No, don't worry. I'm, I'm kidding. Estoy, estoy bromeando. Así bromeo yo de raro. So, 3.4 dice. Uno, dos, tres. Aquí está. Okay. So, in this one, it says write responses to show agreement with these statements. Uh, in this case, we shouldn't use periods. Aquí nos pide que no pongamos puntos porque aquí ya lo lleva. Si se fijan, ya, mm -hmm. no, es necesario, ya no es necesario perdón, que los pongamos. Si se recuerdan, el either, to, and so, son cosas mm -hmm. con las que uh, estamos de acuerdo de manera positiva. Right? Y el neither, ¿y qué otros dos eran? Solo el neither, right? Solo neither era que no estábamos de acuerdo con esas cosas. All right? So, for example, I'm not crazy about French food. I'm not either. Yo tampoco. Right? I can eat any kind of food. So can I. Right? Porque estamos, eh, de, estamos de acuerdo de manera positiva. Yo puedo comer cualquier tipo de comida. La respuesta es, yo también. So can I. Number three, I think Mexican food is delicious. Si yo creo que sí también, yo le digo, I do too. Right? Si dice, I can't stand greasy food. ¿Cómo creen que I sería? Can't. I can't either. Perfect. I can't either. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Sí. Sí, ya sabía. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like salty food. Uh, hagámosla con neither. Or con either, como ustedes quieran. Is it, si no le I gusta la comida. I don't either. Perfect. En el puntito, right? Number six. I'm in so the mood. I am. Or something. Perfect. Awesome. I'm in the mood of, for something spicy. So I might. So I, I am. All right, cool. Uh, esta ya estaba aquí. I don't either. I don't enjoy fast food very much. La persona dice I don't either. Esta es mentira. ¿Quién no le gusta la comida rápida? No, mentira, es cierto. Hay gente que no le gusta. All right, let's go with number nine. I always eat healthy food. So do I. So uh -huh. do I. 
Or Perfect. So do, I. so do I. And the last one, I can't eat seafood. Neither can I. Awesome. Yes. Everybody's on fire right now. Cool. All right. So neither can I. Yes, it can. I'm not either because I'm not crazy about French food. Um, I can eat any kind of food. So can I? I think Mexican food is delicious. I do too. I can't stand greasy food. I can't either. I don't like salty food. I don't either. I'm in the mood for something spicy. So am I. I'm crazy about Korean food. So am I. I don't enjoy fast food very much. I don't either. I always eat healthy food. So do I. And I can eat seafood. Neither can I. Uh, you're welcome, Ivan. Any other section? Alguna otra sección antes de pasar al, al examen? Si no, no se preocupen. Este, revisen, please. ¿Qué otra sección les hace falta? Vamos con el examen y luego me dicen. ¿Ok? Cool. Vamos a dejar aquí abierto. Awesome. So let's go with no, uh, letter A. Solo que creo que no les compartí el audio. Déjenme revisar bien. Uh, tenemos casa llena. Yay. So vamos. No me había fijado cuánta gente estaba conectada. 22 personas. Ay, y por estar viendo. Ser eso, no día. Sí, qué barbaridad. <risa> No, espérense que por estar viendo el número de personas no les compartí el sonido de la computadora. Ok, hoy sí. Ok. Uh, ¿Por qué les quiero compartir el sonido de la computadora? Porque vamos a escuchar este audio. All right. Because we need to listen to the two telephone conversations, right? Tenemos que escuchar las dos conversaciones para ver cuáles serían las, las respuestas, right? So, let's go ahead and listen to the audio, please. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check yes. the correct information. One. Hello? Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at six. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Okay. So let's go back to the um, questions. What was the invitation for Wes about? Who remembers? Bishop party. Yes. Awesome. The number Bish one, Bishop party. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. What was Wes's excuse? He started work start at, at 6 p.m. PM. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. So he starts work at 6 p.m. Uh, what about Rita? What he, what she wants to do? Dance. 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 Performance. 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 Cool, thank you. And the next one, what she doesn't like to do? She needs to she study, needs to study for, for a test. test. Okay, let's see. Amazing. So that's it. Uh, the invitation was for a beach party. The excuse for him not going to the party is that he starts working at 6 p.m. Rita said that she wanted a dance performance and she needs to study for a test, right? Any questions so far? Alguna pregunta? 
No. No. Okay, then let's continue. Uh, let's go with letter B. It said, put the words in the correct order. Complete the conversations. Use the correct form of the verbs. Read each one carefully so you get an idea of the form of the verb you need to use. Right? Como todas ya están contestadas, <laughs> ¿quién me ayuda a leer um, the first one with everything? Hey, what, what do you? <laughs> ah, vaya. Una, una, la otra, la B, la otra, la dos. Yeah. Go ahead, Janet. Ayúdame uh, con la primera y Larisa que me ayude con la B. De esa la B. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. What do you plan to do? Plan to do tonight? Y entre paréntesis, el plan do. That's right. Sí. No, sin el paréntesis. Léalo ah, okay. así, así como, uh, como corregido. Plan to ah, do. Okay. Uh -huh. what, what do you plan to do tonight? Awesome, thank you. Larissa? Okay, I want to stay at home. There's soccer match on TV. Cool, thank you very much. Let's go with the next okay, one. Thank you. Uh, let's go with number two. Vamos a ver aquí no he escuchado la voz hoy. Abby, thank you. What are you and they going to do tomorrow? Thank you very much. And Edwin, help me with letter B. We would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Jocelyn Marroquin, help me with uh, number three. Okay. What do you hope to do after graduation? Perfect, thank you. Uh, Monica, can you please help me with the last one? I would love to travel in Europa for a will. That, that's correct, thank you, Monica. So that's it, right? Uh, what, we all, what we needed, what we needed to do, I'm sorry, it's just to um, organize the ideas, right? In this Europe. case, sorry? Uh, no, 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 sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. So that's what you needed to do. Uh, any questions? Alguna pregunta? Vamos a poner así para que se vea todo. No, teacher. Okay, then. Cool, then. So let's go with letter C. In this case, what we need to do is to circle the correct word. Now, uh, number one, ¿quién me ayuda a leer? Uh, thank you, Ivan. Who helps me read question number one? Con quien sepa la respuesta. Me, teacher. Thank you, Edwin. There are a lot, there are a lot of beautiful trees in this forest. Perfect, thank you very much. There are a lot of beautiful trees in this forest. Veronica, thank you. Help me with number two. A desert is a very hot and dry place. Awesome, thank you very much, that's correct. Who can help me with number three? A mountain is always bigger than a valley. Perfect, yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Walter. Um, a mountain or mountain, como se prefieren, is always higher than a valley. Perfect. Now, for part number two, it changes because what you need to do is to choose the correct word or phrase, right? La palabra o la frase. So, who can help me with number one from part two? Please tell Mary there's a school party on Sunday. Cool. So, please tell. Awesome. What about number two? Who can help me with number two? Would you ask, would you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? Awesome. Thank you. And let's go with the last one. Could you? Could you tell Dana that the movie starts at 8.50? Awesome. Thank you, Abby. So, and all of them are correct. Let's go back to read them again. Vamos a leerlas de nuevo. There are a lot of beautiful trees in this forest. That's for number one. For number two is a desert. It's a very hot and dry place. For number three, 
a mountain is always higher than a valley or a mountain is always higher than a valley. Then for part two, we have number one, please tell Mary there is a school party on Sunday. For number two, we have, will you ask Bill the concert ticket? I'm sorry, will you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? And the last one, number three, could you tell Dana that the movie starts at 8.15? So any questions about this section? Alguna pregunta con esta sección? No. All right then, in that case, let's go with the next one. That will be letter D. Letter D says complete the sentences. Uh, complete the conversations with would, will, I'd, or I'll. So let's go with the first one. It says, well, what? Were. Exactly, perfect. Solo, en este caso, vamos a escribir la palabrita, right? Would, what would you like to eat? The fried chicken, please. Vamos with number two. Which one do you think it is? Iron. 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 Oh. Iron. That's Iron. correct. Iron. That's Iron. correct. What kind of potatoes would you like? I'll have the mashed potatoes. Let's go with number three. Which one do you think it is? I. I. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Anything to drink? Yes, please. I'd like some water. And let's go with number four. Which one do you think it is? Oh, will. Awesome. That's correct. Anything else? No, that will be all. It's like when you're in a restaurant, right? Awesome. So let's go with the second part. The second part, it says, complete each sentence with the correct form of the adjective. Choose between comparative or superlative. Remember that the comparative ends with ER, or with more, or and the superlative ends with EST, or most, right? So which one do you think it is? Which city is Buenos more, Aires? More, or more crowded. crowded. More crumbled. More crowded. crowded. Perfect, because they are comparing them, right? Porque las están comparando. Let's go with the next one. Is this the world? The oh, most, the most, the most the famous. famous. That's correct. Is Disney World, Disney, I'm sorry, is Disney World the most famous amusement park in the world? Yes or no, right? Yes. And the last one, yeah, it is. <laughs> and the last one, it is, what is? The most. The longest. The longest. The longest. The longest. The longest. Oh, That's okay. correct. The longest. That's correct. What is the longest river in the world? Amazon, Danube, or Nile? Or Nile. That's correct. Nile. And that will be the Nile, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's, it's the longest. Awesome, yes. guys. So, um, any questions so far? No. No. No, no teacher. All right, then. Awesome. In that case, mm -hmm. let's go with the next one. Oh, wait. That is it. Okay. So, let's go with letter uh, E. It says complete the request. Look at it, each message, complete the request, placing the name in parentheses. Remember capital letters, question marks, and periods when necessary, right? Recordar utilizar mayúsculas, signos de interrogación, o puntos cuando sea necesario, right? Y nos pone un ejemplo, right? Si dice the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m., hay que poner can the test is on Thursday or can the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m., right? Aquí, ya voy, ese ya estaba resuelto porque un par de ustedes me preguntaron, pero lo vamos a poner aquí, right? So, the first one says, the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Este en realidad ya estaba aquí, right? Aquí ustedes cogen una o la otra. Yo escogí, can, please tell, can, that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m., right? The next one. La siguiente dice, meet me after class today. Y la respuesta sería, bueno, en realidad la pregunta sería, would you ask Alex? Oops. Would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? And that will be the correct answer, right? Let's go with the next one. 
It says, there's a volleyball game tonight. Would you tell Marcus that there's a volleyball game tonight? That would be the question, right? And the last one, that is number four. It is, come to the picnic on Saturday. Y la, la pregunta, I'm sorry, sería, uh, please ask Paula to come to the picnic on Saturday, right? Do you have any questions con este? No. Okay. Esta sería, no. quiero ver. Submit. Y ahí está. Esa sería la respuesta correcta. That's right. Ok, en, esa, en eso... En ese caso, vamos a seguir con la última parte, creo que sea. Yes. So, the last part, it says, read the article. Um, read the article, then answer the questions. Lo que vamos a hacer acá es que lo voy a abrir aquí y me van a ayudar a leerlo. No sé si se, se ve bien. Yes. Yes. Cool, then. So, who can help me read the first paragraph? El primer párrafo terminaría aquí. Verónica, yes, thank you. Everyone knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island in the state? Yes, it's confusing. So most people call the island of Hawaii a big island. Cool, thank you. So who can help me read paragraph two? Me teacher. Thank you. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 or the five kinds of climate, climates in the world, including tropical, desert, mountain, and alpine. Sometimes it even gets snow on top top of these two biggest volcanoes. Awesome, thank you. Who can help me with paragraph three? Me, teacher. Thank you. On the wet side of the island, the weather in sunny Kailua, Kailua, Kona is almost perfect. It gets Get out to about, about 80, no sé cómo se dice, 80. 80. 80. 80. In, the, in the winter and the 87. 87. <laughs> in the summer, it only go, goes down to 64. To 64 in the winter and 69 in the summer. The koala area in the north is the driest part of the isla, island with only about 10 inch of rain and years. Cool. Thank you very cool. much, Janet. So let's go with the last two paragraphs. Who, who can help me with this one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carol. Me, teacher. Eh, solo ¿Quién, oh, ¿Quién fue la parte, otra persona? Perdón. Esta parte no la veo. <ríe> no escucho quién dice mi teacher. Yo. Uh, Marilyn. Marilyn, I'm sorry. Es que, es que hoy sí hay muchas personas y la perdí entre, entre la multitud. All right, Carol. Eh, Carol <ríe> la primera y Marilyn la segunda. ¿Qué, okay. Solo que okay. yo no la puedo dar zoom. Pero sí la puedo ver. Ya la vi, ya la vi. A ver, sí. <ríe> One, uh, on the east side, Hilo gets around uh, one, uh, one, no me acuerdo cómo se dice, 140. 140. 140. 140. It's each or rain per year. It's the water 
city in the United States, all that rain market for some amazing waterfall near here. Perfect, thank you. All right, next. Okay, and um, water temperatures are colder in February and warmness in September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba diving, and wonderful fishing year round. That makes the big island popular with people from all over the world any time of the year. Awesome, thank you very much. So let's go back to the questions here, right? So the first question, it says, what is Hawaii? What is Hawaii, guys? A state and Iceland. State and Iceland. A state and Iceland. That's correct. It's a state and an island, right? It's both things because it belongs to the U.S. It was bought actually by the U.S. if you read history. Fue comprada por los Estados Unidos, right? So now it's a state. Uh, and an island. Let's go with number two. What climate is not found in Hawaii? Arctic. 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 That's correct. There is no snow in Hawaii. And if there was, we should be concerned about it, right? So let's go with number three. How hot does it get in Kailua Kona in the winter? 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. That's correct. Thank you. And let's go with number four. Where does it rain the most? In the north? In the east. east. In the east. 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 east? Okay. Wow. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. That's correct. Yay. Yes. So let's go back. What is Hawaii? It's a state and an island. Number two, what climate is not found in Hawaii? The Arctic. Uh, how hot does it get in Kailua Kona in the winter? 80 degrees. And the last one, where does it rain the most? In the east, right? And you find everything here, right? So I think that's, a, yeah, that's the last one from um, the final exam. So I don't know if you have any questions, guys. Do you have any questions regarding the exam or okay. any other content? No? Ok, then. Uh, but in that case, ¿algún otro contenido que le gustaría um, revisar? ¿Algún otro knowledge check? ¿No? No. Ok, then. No. So, finish. Finish. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> we already finished, guys. So, we cannot leave just yet because we have to finish the whole hour. All right, tenemos que terminar la hora. So, I would like to know if you have questions with yesterday's class. Do you remember yesterday's class? Yes. Okay, yes. what was the class about? About tell, tell and ask. Ask, tell, ask, ask and, and tell. Ask. That's correct. So, when do you use tell and when do you use ask? We use ask when we want to um, eh, pedir, ¿cómo se dice? Pedir amablemente. Pedir amablemente. And tell use for, for a, yeah, como para dar una orden, ¿no? pedirlo, pero en forma de ordenar. Correct. So that's what you what you said it was correct. Okay. Ask. Both are used to make requests. However, ask is we use it when we want to request in a polite way. And tell to make an order or instruction. Right? And you did a lot of a lot of uh, examples of both, right? Hicieron un montón de ejemplos el día de ayer. Le gusta, me gustaría que lo compartieran con la clase para las personas que no se pudieron unir ayer vieran cómo se hacen estas oraciones. So, who would like to help me? Uh -huh. Who would like to share information? 
Mm -hmm. I told you to wash the dishes. I told you to wash the dishes. No, so, no. <laughs> sorry. I told no, don't, don't, don't apologize. That was me. I was no. direct. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But sorry. it's correct. Okay, no, 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 se disculpe. Yo me tengo que disculpar que estoy directa con las reñas. So I told you to wash the dishes, right? That's correct. Okay. ¿Te fijan? No, el tell y ask no es exclusivo para presente. All right, mm -hmm. aquí está en pasado simple. pasado simple. So you can use it in any form you want, right? I, I will tell you when we get home, right? Te voy a contar cuando estemos en la casa. I will ask you when we get home. I told you to, I tell you to, right? En cualquier tiempo. Gracias, Janet. ¿Quién me podría dar otro You're ejemplo? You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, will you ask mm -hmm. to bring the water. Pero quién le va a preguntar? Sorry. Uh, will you ask? Ahí nos ah, falta okay, una persona. Okay. Yeah. Ah, will you ask me? Okay. Will you yeah. ask me to bring the water? That's okay. Perfect. Will you ask me to bring the water? Perfect. Thank you, Adeline. Who can give me another example? Dos, nos alcanza el tiempo para uno, dos o tres ejemplos más. To say, to say, would you ask me to bring the word? Is in Spanish, podrías darme agua? Oh, podrías pedirme que te lleve agua? Oh, ok. Ah, así quedaría. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, si, qui Dime. si quisiéramos decirle, eh, podrías pedirle a él, o sería, sería, a quién, quién. Yes, that's correct. Cambiaríamos el me por, oops, okay. sorry. Would you ask a him to bring the water? To bring the water, that's correct. Uh -huh. Please okay. ask him to call me this afternoon. Oh, it's correct. I mean, um, in this case, for example, when you notice that someone is not willing to bring you water, you can tell the person that you can ask yourself, right? Like, te pregunten a ti. Mm -hmm. Esto es, por ejemplo, cuando te estoy ignorando, es como que, mira, me puedes decir a mí que te, tra que te traiga agua, right? Ajá, uh -huh. se podría utilizar en esa manera. Que casi no se utiliza, solo cuando se está conquistando. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but you for still, example, <laughs> exactly. But you still, you can still use it. Yes, siempre se puede utilizar. Another example: uh, Tell me what is your favorite food. Or favorite. Tell me what is your favorite food. Awesome, thank you. Another one. And I think, y creo que con esta vamos a terminar, because it's almost time, because it's. Can you tell me what is the number? Perfect. Tell me, can you yeah. tell me? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. What is the number? Perfect. Now, if you see guys, we tell and ask, you can, we can use both to make requests. Now, tell, you are being uh, straight to the point, right? Con tell, somos más directos cuando hacemos las preguntas. With ask, eh, somos un poquito como más amables, más como dar, darle a la persona la oportunidad de que si nos quiere o no nos quiere hacer el favor, right? De cualquier cosa, okay? So guys, uh, it's time for us to go. Um, it's been a pleasure, a real pleasure to be with you again. Uh, so thank you very much for joining for the last day. Uh, remember that tomorrow we don't have classes. Y creo que los tengo aburridos con esto, but remember that we only have today to finish the platform, okay? 
Tenemos hasta hoy para finalizar la plataforma before 11.59. If you have any questions, let me know. Ok, no me voy a dormir ahorita. Me voy a dormir como hasta las 12. Por si tienen alguna pregunta, uh, I'll be there to answer it. Ok, uh, and as I said, it's been a real pleasure seeing you again, getting to know new people too. And I hope that we see each other on Monday. If not, don't worry. You can still contact me and I'll be willing to help you in anything you want. Ok, gracias de verdad. Ha sido un gusto. Eh, conocerlos a todos y verlos de nuevo a los que ya los he tenido en otras clases, right? Y de verdad, gracias por haberse unido a las clases. Yo sé que a veces no se podía porque tenían trabajo, pero se les aprecia, aunque no hayan estado presentes. Uh, de verdad, gracias, gracias. Y solo se puede decir. Espero Muchas no gracias a ustedes. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for all. Thank you, all. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, for Thank you for all. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure, teacher. Thank you, miss. Yeah, my pleasure, too. You're you welcome to see you. <laughs> yes, let's help. So. <laughs> you are a kind Thank person. You. Thank you. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you, Ivan. Teacher, see you the, the, the next, the next um, Monday. Yes, let's hope so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cuídese, teacher. All right, teacher. Gracias, Gracias igualmente. Todos, teacher. Bendiciones. Bless you. Bendiciones. Esperamos Gracias. vernos en otro módulo. Esperamos que sí, pero adiós. Cuídense. Okay. Buenas noches. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, Buenas noches. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Bye. everyone. Bye. Thanks for Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.